what I'm going to be doing here is draping a dress on the stand. It's a bias cut dress, which means the grain line is shifted 45 degrees, um, creating a new grain line that you put along the centre front or the centre back as your fundamental point that you're following. To create the drape of the dress, I cut and slash and cut away excess fabric and remove um, any extra bulk um, and keep smoothing, keep cutting, pinning and pivoting the fabric until it's laying exactly as I'd like it. It's quite a trial and error process because you're never going to get it correctly first time. The black and white markings on the mannequin are a tape, a sticky tape that you can move around the mannequin and use as style lines. So I've pre-positioned my style lines and which I'm now following. I can feel them through the layer of fabric that I'm draping. And where I'm pinning there on the video shows where I'm just trying to find that dot dotted line of my style line markings. I initially pin and place the fabric in certain positions but that may change as I pin and slash with the scissors cutting away the excess they're smoothing up. If I was to drape this dress not on the bias I would have to have a lot more items of suppression, for example darts, you can see a dart there on the bodice, I've only got one there. Um, other forms of suppression are pleats, tucks, gathers, but with the bias it gives you that bit of extra sort of movement and you don't need necessarily to, um, to have as many darts and things like that. Just got to keep smoothing the fabric there. If I wanted to put more drape or more hang into the fabric, I wouldn't pull it as tightly across. I wouldn't smooth it out as much. I'd be almost pulling the fabric in the opposite direction to add in extra flare. But on this particular design that I'm doing for somebody, I'm moving it around to the side there because I want to do away with the excess.